Uh, Mr. Edith Shangle, a question, please. Thank you, President. Uh, my question is to the Attorney General and relates to the review of the spent conviction scheme, which was tabled last November. Since its introduction, a lack of awareness and general confusion around the scheme has left stakeholders either unaware that their convictions have been spent or not knowing about the process to have their record cleared. For those who experience particular disadvantage due to past convictions, such as young people or, and Aboriginal people, this can create obstacles to employment as they don't apply for jobs because of their criminal conviction. This undermines a key goal of the scheme, to help rehabilitate people with historical or minor convictions by reducing barriers to training, housing, employment and other opportunities. So I ask, will the government commit to making funding available to improve awareness and understanding of the spent conviction scheme as recommended by the review? Minister. Uh, thank you. President, I thank um, Mr Edishank for his question um, on the uh, spent conviction scheme, a scheme that we're very proud to um, bring in, but as you've, as you've indicated, the review that was conducted um, at the end of last year identified that the awareness of the scheme um, is something that we need to do uh, more work on, and I can confirm that that work is underway because we do... Um, the last thing we want is for people not to be able to access something because we did it for a good purpose and we want people to realise that. Um, we also understand that uh, people where it's been done automatically without them knowing um, would like, probably like to know about that as well. So what I can confirm is that the department has been prioritising the promotion of the scheme, including delivering information sessions across the state um, and distributing promotional materials. And I've just had a quick look at the Justice website, um, Mr. Mr Edishank, and it's got a pretty good section on spent convictions and has promotional material um, uh, and social media tiles and the like, and we've been encouraging sort of uh, the CLC sector and organisations that work with people that perhaps could access the scheme to help um, to help us promote the scheme. But in particular, obviously, you'd appreciate that um, Aboriginal community advocates were um, front and centre of the development of this scheme, and it is organisations that we have been working with, um, department staff have been working with to deliver more information. So we've presented to the regional and local Aboriginal community justice committees various community sector organisations such as control, Aboriginal community controlled organisations, community justice days, Koori Court staff, the Neighbourhood Justice Centre and Aboriginal men's yarning circles. Um, so as you've indicated, um, it was a recommendation of the uh, review. It is work that we have undertaken. There's always more to do and I think even asking the question in Parliament is a good way for further awareness. So I appreciate your question. Uh, Mr. Chang, oh, sorry, Mr. Shank with a supplementary. Thank you, President, and I thank the attorney for her response. Uh, the Victorian Aboriginal Legal Service recommended to the review that convictions for repealed offences be expunged immediately upon repeal, automatically and without the need for a person to make an application. Victoria Legal Aid and the Law and Advocacy Centre for Women also support automatic expungement, as a conviction of a repealed offence can still show up on a person's record for certain checks. Victoria Police, however, has stated that they do not support expungement due to the administrative and resource burden it would place on Victoria Police and that repealed offences should be considered on a case-by-case -case basis. It is questionable whether expungement would be such a significant burden given the expungement of, for example, homosexual sex offences, which seemed relatively straightforward. Will the government consider improving the spent conviction scheme by automatically expunging convictions for repealed offences? Minister. Thank you, President. I thank Mr Edishank for his um, second question. And um, as you'd appreciate, the report made several recommendations, I think around 20, just over 20 recommendations. Um, and we're working through uh, those with the department at the moment and issues such as you've raised will be part of those considerations. 